All right, we're up to the uh, most exciting part after uh, <laughs> the challenge of getting our page set up. So I'm just going to show that again. So hopefully you are able to have this something along this line with the cross in the middle and some lines uh, around that with the masking tape. All right, so now uh, the challenging part of watercolor is actually what we call controlling the water. Uh, I am going to give you a couple techniques that will hopefully help a little bit. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is just, uh, again, I'm going to pick one of these brushes that looks something like this here. And what we're going to do to start with, actually, is this will give us a little practice. I'm going to dip that in the water. And I'm actually just going to pick one of these try or one of these shapes. I'm just going to pick this top one up here. And I'm actually just going to wet the paper before I put any color on it. This will allow me to uh, kind of practice a little bit, as well as it's going to allow when the paper, when the water actually gets to the paper, it'll allow it to kind of flow in there a little bit better. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then we'll get our paints here. Again, I'm just going to use some of this cheapo paint. And so I would suggest, and I, it, for if you haven't done this before, I would start. We start with yellow. So we're going to start with the color yellow first. And the first one, you know, just dip a little water uh, on my. A little closer, you can kind of see that. I'm just going to kind of tap out the water. So we don't want it to be. We want the brush to have water in it, but we don't want it to be so much water that it's just going to run, wreck, run all over the place. And but just enough stuff to get on there. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into the into the yellow. I'm going to go ahead and get a fair amount on my brush. I'm probably going to have to do this a few times. I'm just going to take that yellow and I'm just going to kind of let that flow into this little, I guess this one's a triangle. Your shape may be slightly different. And it doesn't have to be this top corner one. You could pick any of them. but um, So you pick whichever one you'd like. Go ahead and color that. So the first one, we're just going to keep... Straight yellow. I maybe maybe want to get just a little more yellow in there. That's fine. It'll dry a little lighter too than it's showing up right now. But we're just going to make that first one just straight yellow like that. Hopefully you can see that. Then the second one again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have okay. One of the tricks on this is I'm going to actually try to use two brushes. Now if you just have one, it's okay. Uh, and if you're you know, more comfortable just uh, using one, that's fine too. I'm going to set that brush to the side. I'm going to grab another one, again, that's just going to be clean and just grab again the water. And um, I'm going to actually pick a spot that's not right next to it. So I'm going to go over here. And when I see I got a little extra, <laughs> a little color in my uh, brush from last time, that's all right. It's art. <laughs> actually make for an interesting little color in there. I'm going to go ahead and, now this step is not required, uh, but it does allow, it's a good step to use anytime you're doing watercolor, or many times when you're doing watercolor, I shouldn't say all this, but um, to allow the paper and the water just to interact a little bit, and that's how you get some really cool color. So I'm going to teach you a technique here that's kind of upper level art a little bit. Um, Again, don't have to do it this way. But again, I'm going to start with this yellow. I'm going to go ahead and put the yellow in this uh, just like I did last time. My yellow in this here. Now, it's going to be best if you have a third brush. However, if you don't, and you just clean your brush out. Get my yellow in here. Again, this paper is a little different than the other one I was using, so it acts a little differently. All right, so now I'm gonna grab, I'll set these here just so you can see which brushes I'm using. It's, again, you just, whatever brush you have, and if you have to just clean them out, that's fine. But if I got a third brush, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a third brush here. And this time what I'm gonna do is grab a little red. I'm going to dip it in the water, tap it off a little bit, 
And I'm going to grab this. Not the point here is just to get a little bit of this red. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of red. And now I'm not necessarily going to try to color this whole thing red. We've got, it's yellow, but what we'll do, and this is where we get some really cool effects. I'm just going to tap that red in there. And depending on what kind of paper you have, it will depend on how it will mix and how much water you have. But rather than just having this straight all yellow, we're going to just get some cool little colors in there. All right, and you can put as much or as little red as you want in there. I'm just going to kind of, hopefully you can kind of see that. I'm getting some nice little streaky colors in there. Again, depending on you, you may, one thing here is another little watercolor trick. Get the colors to mix. You can kind of take your your little cardboard here and just kind of kind of let those colors kind of mix a little bit. Uh, you can get it so that the colors will you know, let me all blend into kind of orangish color, depending on how your paints are and uh, how your watercolor paper is. So I've got one now that's yellow, and I've got one that's a little bit orange and or get some red streaks in there. So now uh, we could do another yellow one if you want. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Uh, let's just take our, yeah, I got this straight here. I need my clean brush first. So I'll do that. I'll get my clean brush. Again, if you're just using one brush, you just have to clean it out a little bit. And if you mix a little color, it's okay too. Okay, so now I'm going to pick a third one. Uh, let's do this one right here. It could be by each other, but I'm not going to put them by each other. I'm going to stick this one over here. And now what we'll do, again, now I'll grab my yellow. Okay. And I'll go ahead and color another one yellow. Yeah, I could just keep this yellow. Uh, that would be just fine. But what I like to do is just add, let's say, uh, this time, let's add a little blue to our yellow. That'll give us a little bit of green. So, grab my third brush. Or just clean out your brush a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue. To this. And again, my goal here is just to kind of sprinkle a little bit of that blue in there. Not necessarily trying to let that blue dominate. We still want it to be primarily yellow. This is where the kind of art, uh, uh, the artistry kind of works a little bit. So you can kind of get some cool effects. You could even put some symbols or shapes in there if you wanted to. But I'm just going to kind of let the water, and I'm really getting, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm really getting some nice effects try to turn that up toward you a little bit so you see how the yellow and the blue kind of are just blending together and um kind of make some little shapes in there and uh, again yours may do that your paper may act differently so uh just uh, and if you end up with more of a bluish in there that's fine too uh, it's art not science, so we just enjoy the process all right that takes us back to our clear brush and we'll go ahead and color another one. So I'm going to pick this one down here. You pick whatever one you want. Get that. Again, one, a decent amount of water in there, but not too overflowing. Okay, we got, there's our clear one. Then we are going to come back now with the red. Okay, so you may have to clear a brush or grab another brush, but we're going to want this one's just going to be straight red. I'm not going to mix any color with it. I'll get it dapped off here a little bit. Okay, grabbing my red. And I'm just going to color this all red. No other colors going with it. Now, with that being said, you may have part, like you'll notice this side is a little bit darker than that side. Maybe you want that. Maybe you want to come back and throw a little bit more red somewhere. And it's not going to all be uniform, um, and that's okay. Uh, 
All right, so I got that. And that one's just going to be straight red. And I'm just going to come back with my clear brush again. We're going to pick another one. Again, it could be right by it. I'm choosing to kind of spread these out a little bit. So I'm going to pick this one up here, a smaller one. But Okay. Now we've got our red brush again. We're going to color this one red, and then we'll add another color to it. But we'll get the red in there first. All right, got my red triangle, whatever shape you're using. Now, again, I'm either going to clear my glass, clean my brush, or I'm just going to have another brush here. And this one, I'm going to put a little blue in it. Again, the goal here is not to have the blue to overpower the red. We just want to have some blue kind of run in there. Now, if it does come in there pretty dominantly, that's okay. Up there, I've got a nice little, yeah, almost looks like a little bit of an American flag. Some of your watercolors, depending on the quality of them, uh, will make more of a purple. Mine is not mixing quite as much. It's more of a dominant blue, maybe not a true blue, but uh, anyway, it'll kind of depend on your what kind of watercolors you're using. But again, I'm getting some really nice effects in there. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. All the water or the red and the blue are kind of mixing and I kind of like I said I almost have a little of an American flag there all right now we are going to again take our clean brush pick another triangle I'm gonna pick this one over here and now we will do just straight blue so that's gonna be like that get my water in there again this is not a step you have to do um, but I think you'll find it to be effective and helpful especially as you advance in your watercolor uh, techniques. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this blue now and go ahead and put that in there just like that. And that one I'm just going to keep straight blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my clean brush and go ahead and pick another triangle here. And I'm going to go ahead and shut down the video again and let you just kind of finish. Um, but I got my blue. I'm going to do a blue. I'll show you this one. And then I'll just tell you on the other ones what you can do. Put blue in here. And then to this blue, actually, one of the, my favorite ones to do, so I get this blue down, is to add a little green to it. And you're going to get some really cool effects. So I see my video is maybe running out a little battery low here. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Grab a little green. I'm just going to stick that green in there. And you'll get some, you see my green got a little dirty, but that's okay. You'll really get some kind of cool colors in there with the green. So, uh, yeah, I really like that. Okay, so I've got about four more to do. You got however many you're going to do. And, again, you can, uh, so the next color I would use would be green. Maybe add a little purple to green or add a little, another word, do them. Uh, you can add kind of whatever color you want to it. Um, and just kind of finish up the rest of your colors. So uh, I will stop the video, let you finish up, and then we'll uh, come back in just a moment. We got the one thing we're going to have to do is just let this dry uh, once you have yours complete. So I'll stop the video and uh, we'll come back in just a little bit. 